can't believe SpongeBob. I just don't believe anything he says. Hi. A little early. And maybe just one game tonight. Reading. And uh, I welcome you to the stream. Thank you for joining. So I've been told that um, Hilux 2 is almost done, kind of, and I can finish it maybe in one stream. So I figured, let me give it a shot, and then there might be time for more after this. So I'm going to start with this, see if I have time for more, and if not, then no. But, um... Yeah, I'm feeling a little... I didn't sleep very well, and I'll tell you why. I had some weird fucking dream that I wrote down. I actually went into my dream journal again. But we'll get to that. Uh, this is an update, by the way. There's autosaves, there's some fixes. Uh, there's there's some, some good things. There's like, uh, you can, you can like, like kill yourself. Well, in game, you can kill yourself in a battle. That way, you, that's the way you run away from the battles. It's, yes, seriously. So, I mean, hey, that's one way to do it, uh, I suppose. But yeah, uh, fuck. Where am I again? Oh, right, I was over here. There's like a boss battle coming up. Yeah, I'll tell you about my weird dream soon enough. Let's let's just continue with this. All oh, right, it's the section. Oh god, I hate the section. The only reason I hate the section is because I got lost so easily. It's, but it's cool. You want me to know uh you want to know what I think about the King Gizzard song? I'll tell you what I think about the King Gizzard song in a bit. Where am I going? Okay, so here's the bit. All right, the bit is Guy walks into the doctor's office, and he says, Hey, who's King Gizzard? New song from King Gizzard? It's called Honey. It's really, um... It's microtonal. Apparently, Stu wrote it a couple years ago. And it sounds like something from Flying Microtonal Banana, which is an album I really like. So, I, I like it. I'm... A fan. Okay, yeah, this this is this way again. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Vinny, have you seen the trailer for the new Star Trek? Yeah, I, it's not even like people complaining about the animation for the new Star Trek show, Lower Decks. That I mean, sure, it looks like a lot of other shows. The writing was just so. If that's the best shit they have for that trailer. Which it probably isn't, but you want to, like, put your best foot forward for a trailer. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, I agree with Jeff. Jeff actually has a good point. It could be stick figures, but if the writing is good, then, it, then it's good. Problem is, that trailer was fucking not good. <laughs> it was, I don't want to say atrocious, but... I can say expialidocious instead. Um, I really didn't like it, and again, I feel like Star Trek is in a very bad spot right now, and that does not help it. That does not help it. What I will say... What I will say... 
Star Trek has never been in a worse spot, in my honest opinion. Yep. Again, there's a... Oh, fuck, did I miss something? What I will say is this. Star Trek has had some ups and downs, but right now, the fan reaction to what they've been just, like, constantly trying different things. Here's the thing that you need to see. Here's Strange New Worlds. That didn't work? Okay, here's Lower Decks. It's too much. Meanwhile, if you have someone, and I hate to say Seth MacFarlane would have the answer, but if you have someone who's passionate about Star Trek, that really gets the spirit of it, I feel like it could be done right in one single show. Now, again, Seth MacFarlane, the Orville, is not the perfect Star Trek or anything like that. It's just a good show that borrows a lot, lot, lot. But I do think that if he was on the writer's team, he could help guide them in a direction of like, no, this is probably what people would, would be more inclined to see than Lower Decks. Anyway, um, so here's what I will say too about the uh, King Gizzard song. Chill little acoustic song that sounds weird and I loved it in that sense always down for chill acoustic songs that sound weird um, also NES Lego which is very expensive but really fucking cool Lego being expensive is nothing new. Yeah, it's just, you know, 220 bucks. I would assume I missed the paper cup. People were saying there was a paper cup, and I missed it, I think. Wait a second, what's this? Hang on. I don't even know what I just got. Chat, what was that? What did it say? Multi-stem cell? What was in here? It was like one frame. There are a lot of secrets that room you just dropped from. Some secrets had their own secret areas. Yeah, I was hoping someone caught one frame. Something approacheth. What? Why is it a car? Perish. I really hope I don't accidentally... Because I could very easily press that. Instead of charge up. There's confirmation dialogue for Perish? Okay. First chest was multi-stem cell. Thank you for the analysis. Uh... But yeah, once again, Chuck Salamone, who did the soundtrack to this game, uh, covered Time by Pink Floyd, and he did a really, really good job. And, uh, dude's in Jersey, so I mentioned this the other day. I, I, I might try to, at some point, when the world returns slightly to normal, if possible, I might, like, try to, like, link up with this dude. If you're watching, Chuck, we should- we should jam or talk music one day. Really good style, I love, uh, the- the way this dude plays guitar, the pedals, the effects, the writing. Big fan. So never? Yeah, never. Read this out loud for a free sub. Save your sub for the charity stream. That's this Friday... ...to this Sunday. Variety is hope on Twitch.
be a good attack right here. Nice. And some lightning, please. So the reason, for anyone just joining, the reason it's only Hylix 2 tonight is because I might be able to finish this tonight. After I'm done with Hylix 2, I might have time for something else. I might end a little early because I slept like shit. So... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Chuck is in chat. What's up? Nice cover of, of Time. I did that song one time during karaoke, and it was, um... It was terrible. But then I did Wish You Were Here, and that... That was terrible. But that was also when I was, like, 20, so... But yeah, I think a lot of us are big fans of your work, so keep up the good work. Nematode interface. I only know the word nematode because the TV show Doug taught it to me. TV cartoon Doug. The oh, fuck? Well, well, what's all this then? God damn, that did a lot of damage. to do a multi-stem cell. We might be able to... Just in case, I'm going to do another foam armor. Just in case. But we might be able to snap to death. Yeah, we got it. Still wish I could find that damn paper cup. Vinny, any chance you're gonna play Ghosts of Tsushima? No. No. It looks cool. It got good reviews. People seem to really like it. Um, it's 50 hours. And I'm, I'm not really in the mood for an open world game right now. And that also cuts into my plans for other games. So, I'm gonna pass on that one. But, there's always a chance I would check it out in the future. Vinny, Halo 3 stream. That... is interesting. Because I like Halo 3. And I've considered that one. So, let me see when I'm done with all these other games. I would certainly consider a Halo 3 stream. See, I was a little skittish on Halo 1 and 2 because I, I'd have to play through 1 and then 2 and... But with three, I've already played it. Vinny, what happens if Pap Mario is bad? Well, I have like three or four old games that I've had in mind for a while that I've really wanted to stream but never had the chance to. Fuck.
Vinny, are you going to do Ghosts of Tsushima? <laughs> Yes, I will be streaming Hylix, too. Vinny, have you considered Halo 3? Well, funny story about Halo 3. Very interesting. Because I've considered streaming Halo 3. You see, I don't really feel like streaming Halo 1 or 2, but maybe Halo 3. Um, but there are other classic games that I'd like to stream. I'll be waiting for the Paper Mario reviews. Vinny, will you be streaming Ghosts of Tsushima? You see, I'm not sure I'll be streaming Ghosts of <laughs> No, I won't be. Snake, you're in a loop, Snake. I've been watching this channel's reviews of the Metroid games. And I've, I've been, like, dying to play a Metroid game again. But I don't know... I don't know when or what game, but I'm just hoping Nintendo announces a new Metroid game soon. That's all. That's all. Yeah, just another 2D Metroid game. No problem. Which channel? I don't even... I don't even remember. I'd have to look it up. Because, um, a lot of times YouTube just... just goes, man. It just goes. You know, it just does its thing, and goes. And then I just watch. You know, because I'd be laying down, or playing some music, or, you know doing other things, cleaning, and then I just, oh yeah, Metroid video, sounds good. Would you consider replaying Skies of Arcadia? If Skies of Arcadia got a re-release of some kind, I would replay Skies of Arcadia, but the old stream of it is still on full sauce. It's a long game. One of my favorites, yes, but it's a commitment game. But yeah, if they ever did like a... There were some rumors about something Skies of Arcadia, and, and there really hasn't been anything since then, but... If... There was anything... Skies of Arcadia... I would probably pick it up and, and stream it. Whose account is this? Oh, the dude that was talking about Skies of Arcadia. Kenji Hiruta. Okay. Also, I believe Mason is in chat right now. So, let me just double check. So Chuck says that Mason is in chat. Mason, I've played a lot of your games. I want you to know I'm a huge fan of your work. You do... a lot of really interesting weird shit, and that's my... that's definitely my wheelhouse. This game is, um... also, from what I've played... like the perfect sequel. You know, you've expanded on the things that you started with the original, improved, iterated, and I would say even made a more compelling story. So, you know, thanks for the, um, thanks for the effort. I just wish I knew where that damn paper cup was. Oh! <sighs> Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper coop. Should I just perish? Now, well, now, the poor fish. What does the paper cup do? I forgot. <laughs> Honestly, it's good to an upgrade.
Increased will? Alright. Mason is on a 10 minute delay, apparently. Dear Lord. Vinny, do you know which episodes of Deep Space Nine Worf shows up? Not off the top of my head, but I believe season... four? The cast was a little pissed about that. Because here's this popular character from... TNG. And now, like, they're shoehorning him into Deep Space Nine. But, I think he ended up being a great addition to the cast. They should- they should have added him to Voyager after that, and then to Enterprise as a human named John Worf. Add him to the Picard TV show. Here, here's what I can tell you about that. Worf was at least unruined. So I think it's fine that Worf was not a part of that show. What will you do if Hylix ends up not being the only thing? I have options. Now, if I finish this... late, and I still have, like, a half hour, I'll finish Command and Conquer. If I finish this really early, I might consider Smash, but I'd like to do a full Smash stream. Now, I know not everyone's into Command and Conquer, but I got so fucking close to finishing it last night, I was on the last mission, and I just kept getting Tanya killed over and over again, and I... that was unacceptable. Um, so I just need to make, like, like, two dozen medium tanks. And then, you know, mission, mission win. Vinny, Red Vox, and Amigos, Amigos show at some point. We're not doing really shows. I mean, some of our music is... I don't even know how to play it anymore. Um, here's what I can tell you. I'm more of a studio musician. I, I'm a lazy person who likes to just write and record. So... I, I could also tell you that it would probably take three or four months of practice to get going for a show, so that's just something that will be really difficult for me and the band to get together. So, that's my excuse. Um, though I would go to one of your shows. Vinny, that's why you write down your music. No, no, I could relearn it. Like, <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, I could probably listen to it, and then just like, oh right, this is how you play it. It would just take time. Okay, um, where are we going? We're going to... I guess we'll go to New Muldool for now, and then try to find... ...the ship. Oh no, the poor bastards. Do you have an issue with people playing Red Vox on other streams or videos? No. Play it. Play it all you want. I'm just trying to make sure it's not in copyright at all. And there was an issue with that because we switched distribution services, which means that it got added to copyright and Red Vox claimed my own... ...stuff. Like, I, Vine Sauce was claimed by I, Red Vox. So, I'm trying to make sure that's gone completely. So people can just play the music. It's it's not a problem. There's a big airship up in the sky there. It's like all my favorite RPGs when something crazy starts flying around. Black Omen comes to mind. Talk 
to the crew. That big airship is a remnant of the Sage's Empire. I was denied their gesture in the past, but perhaps now... More. What happened to all that power you absorbed from bugs back in the day? That would be useful versus Gibby. Power from bugs. I'm taking a break from that. Maybe I took it a little too far last time, you know? No paper cup. New haircut? No. It's a seasonally occurring lamellar structure. <laughs> you can pet the Wayne in this game, confirmed. So I need to read, um, so I, I, I had a weird dream last night, chat, and I haven't written my dreams down in a while. So while we're on the ship and we have this music, I think now would be a good time to read this dream. Oh, give me one second, I just find it. So, last dream I wrote down was the one with J.J. Abrams from June 20th. Call with J.J. Abrams that I won from a contest. We spoke on the phone for a while and I asked him about the status of the Dreeb movie. He told me it was out the next day. What? We also talked about Half-Life while I was walking through a mall for some reason. Okay, I don't know. That's a stupid one. Here's the one I had last night. Back to the Future. Doc and Marty inherit a sailboat and have to sail it around Long Island to dock it on Staten Island. Before they do, they get to another version of themselves from the past at a base near the water. As they repair the boat and prepare a pizza party, an ancient evil is on Earth in a mine. It is an undead moose that rides a zord. It hates hockey players and wants to collect them. Cut to the base, and there are now four Marty McFlies and four Docs, all other actors, but using facial CGI to become the characters. I could see the flaws in the CG. The pizza party is about to begin while their quippy banter continues, but then on the horizon the sky grows dark and the moose on the Zord appears. It shoots a laser but doesn't kill anybody, but lands to ask if there are any hockey players present. Biff, who is also there for some reason, says yes, and havoc ensues. That's a, that's a real fucking dream I had last night. And then, I'm trying to go back to bed, and I, I got like a melody in my head and I had to wake up and play it on guitar, so I, I woke up like two hours earlier than my usual... ...nonsensical time. But, at least that happened. Oh, I see. Why did I do that? Do you write your dreams immediately after you wake up, or do you wait a bit? If I go back to bed, I forget the dreams almost entirely, so I have to... If I'm gonna remember enough of a dream to write that much detail, yeah, I have to- I have to get that shit immediately. I mean, Zord was just the best word for it. The surviving sages hid themselves, one in view Wax's edifice, another under the fortress at Foglast, and a third in those halls which recently held this ship. Floating brain confirmed. Was the moose's zord also a zord? 
Wait, no, was the moose's zord also itself a moose? No. Tokens from the three sages are needed to power on the TV. No, it looked a little bit like Metal Face mixed with Power Rangers. A certain preparatory gesture is needed to bring out the potential of Bombogenesis. It was hoped that the terrible power of Bombogenesis would never again be needed. Alas. It's a receptacle for a sage token. How furiously it wriggles. <laughs> What was the dream where the name Red Vox came from? It was a poster. And it had, um, in red, it was like red and yellow. And it had, um, at the bottom, me and Mike and two other people. But the people were mysterious, I didn't know who they were. Um, and we needed a band name, and it was like, hey, well, what about that name? And everyone was just like, yeah, sure, that's good. I was like, well, what about Red Vox? What about the Red Sox? What about Red Box? What about Red Fox? What about Gray Fox? monitor remains dark. Attach more sage tokens to the receptacles. Oh. What's a vox? It like vocals. Like it. I mean, it actually does kind of work because we use the the like sound waves traveling outward as part of the logo. Kind of represents it nicely. What's red? Um, I don't know. Sells you, like, the Mona Lisa and other, like, questionable art. Blood is red. It's a receptacle for a sage token. There we go. to see some of space. Vinny, are you a prophet? No, I'm a Muppet. Oh god, this fucking Muppet. Your cooking is fucking shite, mate. Get a job at a furniture store! In this flying hall are stored the treasures of the sages. I suppose I could part with some for a price. Organ Fort. Hmm. Those organ forts are pretty good. Single gloves are pretty good, too, but... I think we're good on that. Organ Fort, let's see. Converter... Loop Dome. It's even better than the Organ Fort. Yeah, so that dream... Like, I woke up, and then I had a headache all day. I don't know if it was the dream's fault. I'm just saying, that's what happened. Goddamn hockey players. There were rumors, there were field hockey players, All I know... 
Mambo Genesis. You are the son of a motherfucker. Sorry, it's a little Pixies lyric. Don't worry about it. Technically, we all are. Now that I think about it. Okay, user must be charged. Damages all enemies. Damage is multiplied by your crew's current will times 100. Divided by 100. Crew's will is depleted. Oof. Well, paper cup would make that even more powerful. So would the single glove read its description. Really? Oh, halves will costs. Right. We don't really need that much will uh, at this point. I mean, maybe I could replace this pleather gauge for lots of lightning. Red Vox album made it to the top 10 on Bandcamp yesterday. Congratulations. I have been informed. And I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. Setting an album price to $2 has its advantages. Alright, well, I don't like this album, but I like his streams. So with peace and love, I can part with $2. That's no problem. Hey, Ring! Ring, are you- are you buying that Red Vox album? Yeah? Yeah, Paul, what of- what of it? Well, you know... It's just... <laughs> I got nothing. It's just what? I don't know. It's a bad bit. I was trying to work in, like, Ringo Fit Adventure, but I couldn't figure it out. So Ringo turned 80. Uh, Patrick Stewart just turned 80. Jesus. There's a lot of old humans on this planet. Gotta be... You know... Gotta be really resilient to last that long. Someone said that the TNG cast gave him a good birthday. That's good. They, they wished him happy birthday and stuff. I didn't see that, but I want to check that out. Someone said I honestly thought Patrick was older. And Picard, you know... She's like 90-something, like 98 or something. Uh, because Jean-Luc is older than Patrick Stewart. So Patrick Stewart was like 50-something. And they had him playing... Picard, who was like in his late 60s or, you know, something like that. I... or... In his, yeah, early 60s, late 60s, I'm not sure. But regardless, in the future, when you have good things... The idea is that you, you look better. You know, you have good, um, good cream. It's just, like, stem cell cream. That you, uh, that you, you just, like, rub. But, but here's the thing about stem cell cream, you need your own stem cells, so you just harvest your own stem cells. And then you use it. This is a weird conversation, but... Yeah, what they do is they um, they take your stem cells from when you're a baby and then they give you a bunch of them and then when you get old and you need them, you can take some to help you later on in life.
that's not real. Like, that's not actually a thing that's happening, chat, in any way, shape, or form. But if I ever write a science fiction novel, that'll be in there. All right, Chuck, thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you enjoyed my stem cell conversation. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I don't want to collaborate with this guy, eh, Ringo? That's right, Paul, because you're a big famous rock star. You don't need to talk with people who talk about stem cells, right, Paul? So, alright. Uh, am I missing anything? Should I be in here at this point? You're good? Alright. Liquify, despite another offending chemical, thanks to our charred wind. Just as it exploded. This is an interesting tune. Very good tune. I like the extra little pitchy bits on the on the guitar on the solo. I, I say pitchy bits, it, it's a pitch shifter. I guess. I think it is. on the Star Wars Bad Batch thing. It's a neat idea. It's a, um, a show based on Rex and all the clone troopers from the Clone Wars that were also in Rebels. So... Star Wars Bad Bitch? No, I don't think it's called that, chat member. John Clone Trooper? That's him. Confirmed to be the old man with Han Solo in Return of the Jedi on and the Moon of Endor. I've heard about that, but a dude that vaguely looks like the dude that wasn't thought up that many years ago is I, I don't know if you it's a tenuous connection at best, uh, is what I would say. So we got to Star Wars chat again. That didn't take long. How'd that happen? I like that Han Solo in Return of the Jedi just kind of, like, stands there a lot. And he, he just, like, like, hangs out near it, like a satellite dish. 
Hey kid, I wish they would have killed my character off in Empire. He does blow it up. He does blow it up. It's true. He, it's not like he didn't, like he had something to do. Do you think this game is an improvement over the first Hylix? I, I don't have a full recollection of the first Hylix, but yes, from my limited memory of that game, it is. stuff going on in the music here. Good intervals. Nitro Rad made a good video comparing this to the first one. I should watch that. Get a refresher on, on the first one. help make a game memorable for you? Just in a general sense? I guess it, it's not any one specific thing. I will return to a game if a soundtrack is amazing. So there's that. There's always that. But, um, good characterization. If we're talking like a story game, or a Super Mario Brothers type game. They're two different types of things, because I could say, like, Mario... It's always, you know, gameplay. Because those games just are really fun to play. Zelda, good puzzles. You know, cool progression, swords, oh fuck. But then you have a game that's like more story oriented, like Chrono Trigger, and, and for me it's the music, the visuals, the the writing, um, the pacing. Yeah, I guess I kind of just ran into this. I'm gonna do a Bombo Genesis. So every game is different. <clears throat> If it's a Metroid game, what would make it memorable for me is... Really good spacing out of, like, power-ups, good boss fights, um, good atmosphere, a feeling of, of, like, isolation. And then, like, being able to sequence break a little bit, so you feel like you're almost smarter than the game devs. I always really like that. Varied areas too, yeah. Memorable but varied areas. It's one of the reasons one of the reasons the original Metroid does piss me off, even though I still love it for nostalgic purposes. Every fucking area looks the same. I just
wasted potential for a thing. Alright, Bombo Genesis, let's see. Absolutely insane. I guess this thing had a shield of some kind. But you can fuck right off. Pink starburst icon means it's invincible and will counter. All right. Multi soul sponge. I I cannot fight this enemy right now. I'm dead. I have no flesh. I have no will. And that's why Bombo Genesis maybe isn't the, you know, catch all. It's good, but you're left with no will afterwards. Alright, well... You have an infinite will item. I do that, I do that do. I do that do. And remember, it is Tuesday, which means flesh melting off the bone is a totally valid conversation piece. Off the bone. I don't like that the thing has a Wayne head. Is there just no way to... This was a bonus area? Yeah, roll. No, I just was wondering if there's, like, do I need to even be in here?
judgmental. That's a full heal. One of those dudes is a full heal. Okay, I just don't know where to go from here. God damn, that's a long way down. Oh, here's a thing. Here's a place. Yeah, this this song is really good. I don't know if I like this as much. What was the one area that I really liked the song? I mean, I like most of the music, but there is one in particular I really, really liked. Fog Last, was it? The side-scrolling area was good too, but... Xeno Arcadia? Uh, it was, um... The big fucking area where I had to zoom out to see what the hell I was doing. That one. This is right up there with that. That's fog last. Nope. Hey, Vine Sauce, I'm new and I'm one. I've wondered if the sub is worth it. Probably not, to be honest. Hey, Vine Sauce new user here. Big fan of the radio show. First time caller, long time listener. Nah, it's all good. Thank you. I appreciate the sub. Sorry if it's not worth it. I need more allowance. <laughs> so much of chat knows exactly what that is. Can 
Can I use the infinite, um, juice by chance in the menu? No, probably. Oh, yeah. Nope. Disable that. Just leaking? Forming in this game. Whoa. Oh. Play Barn Finders this week, please, dude. I need that for my mental health. You can't put that on me. Like, you can't put your mental health on another person. That's only gonna end in disappointment. Especially if you type it like 10 times. Um, no, I, I probably will anyway, but. Truth be told. People, uh, don't people do that with therapists? Yeah, but they're trained. I'm just some asshole playing barn finders. couldn't I use the thing? That was weird. Did you buy a bike? No. It's not that it's... It's, it's still an appealing thought, but it's just that. I, I really don't know if I'm gonna end up spending six to seven hundred dollars on a bike that I... I don't know how long... how much I would use it. I'm thinking about it, but it's not a guarantee. Also, that pool man split.
There's a lot of advice about bikes in the chat right now. Get a unicycle, get a golf cart. This isn't looking so good. This this enemy really fucked me up. I don't know why Bombo didn't work. Do I need 100 MP? For every character, at least? Maybe that's what it is? You need 99. Oh. When he played DMC2, your skills are perfect for that game. Oh, I forgot that that dude was the full... Honestly, I avoided that dude earlier because I didn't realize it was... a smack dude. If I had smacked that dude properly, like good and proper earlier, then I probably wouldn't have perished. Hole looks very nothing. Tile habit. That's normal stuff, normal things.
Again, the Bombo Genesis is really good for shit like this, but then hopefully you have a full heal nearby, uh, nearby I can speak. My favorite looking enemy in the game so far. Uh, well, the car caught me off guard entirely. Off card. I like the one that had the weird animation, where, like, the animations tweened into each other. Reservoir is now drained. Thinly avenge its field down in a liquid passion. Oh, okay. For some reason, my mind went to John Stamos saying that. I'm gonna blame... the Moose Zord... for this. So the, the reservoir has been drained. Oh, right, right. That goes in there. Can we go in there? They can. I can't. I can. Power plus 30. if I want to use that over the telescopic sleeve. Eh, fuck it. Reduces damage to wearer by 25%. Yeah, sure. Gonna lose a bunch of power, but... Wayne will be tanky and strong. Now Wayne can take big shits and give big shits. That's right. Don't take shits, only give shits. Living like a wind rammer. It's like one of these dudes is gonna say live like a wind rammer as you fuck. found empty. Upper reservoir is now drained. Hang on, chat. One second.
That is good. Cranberry raspberry juice. I don't know why, I was just in the mood for it. It's a little sugary, but that's good. It sounds bitter. A little bit. Need some Crystal Head Vodka. I'm already tired. That would do nothing good for me. Oh, I like a little citrus in mine. Yeah, I had a sexual encounter with a ghost. Yep, okay then. Yep, oh, it was a good sexual encounter there. Oh, we made big fucks. Yep. I don't know why Dan Aykroyd is now more Canadian than he really is, in my impression, at this moment. Okay there, yup. Okay, from Milwaukee. See, now I really don't know where to go. Opinions on the show Kids in the Hall. Big Kids in the Hall fan. Great show. Many Milwaukeeans don't sound like this. Oh gosh, I know they don't. That's like the New York stereotype. When people do the New York voice. Hey, how you do? Whoa! It's like, yeah, that exists. It's not everyone. And it's not usually as pronounced as that, but it's there. If you look for it, you will eventually find it. it. It really just takes a little bit of time. But then, I haven't been to the Midwest, I haven't been to... Wisconsin. So, I don't... You know? That was an attempted dodge roll, so I could jo dodge roll through them. I almost said dodge roll, but that's not what I wanted to say. Judge. That way. Oh, that was a Captain Picard TV show character, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Judge. We need to save Judge. From the Judge Vaj. What did you say, Captain Picard? We need to save Judge from the Judge Vaj. Who's your crew? My crew. Uh, my crew is Jaji, uh, Badaj, Vojaj, Vajay. Vajazel. Remember, there was a character named Vajazel. Remember, because I won't forget that for as long as I live. And of course, uh, my other- I, I like how my Patrick Stewart has just turned into fucking Sean Connery. Of course, my other crew member is Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Like, modern Star Trek names are just some combination of J, Z, and V. 
with some cut like just random vowels thrown in between. And yeah, Jay Z is confirmed Star Trek character. <laughs> No diggity. Oh, some burritos down here. Spay me for the Dorit. What do you think the Texas accent sounds like? I, I mean, I've been. I just don't remember. Uh, like, you can go stereotypical Southern, but I, I just, I'm sure there's like lots of little identifiable local dialects. Texas is a fucking massive state. Howdy. Yeah, yeah, Yale. Ah, uh, yes, I am a cowboy, yet also exceedingly sad. Desert has been in Texas for a while and says that he has not seen a single cowboy. Y you mean they don't mosey? Desert? Why aren't they moseying, like, to where you live? Tip their hat? Howdy. That's what they're supposed to do. And then, then you go, um, deep in the heart of Texas. I learned that from Pee Wee Herman. Is that, is that real? Go back to the locked door. I, I would like to. I don't remember where it was. Was it up this way? Top. All right, I think. Yes, okay. Thoughts on mayo burgers. I, I don't know if you're. T Look what you made me do. You you made me do this. I don't know if you're talking about mayo on burgers, or if there is a specific type of mayo burg where it's just a burger with mayo in between two buns but all i've ever wanted was for for myself to not know about that put mayo on burgers. Well, I think mayo can go on burgers. It's fine. 
a lot of burger joints put mayo and ketchup on burgers. I don't think there's a problem with that to me. I think it's just one of the fixins, really. But then, if you're saying that it's just mayo between buns, then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I thought you were told to eat mayo on toast. Well, I've eaten, like, sandwiches with, like, you know when you get to the end of the bread? The French bread, whatever it may be? And all that's really left is just, like, mayo? It's like, yeah, I'll eat that. It's pretty good. Like, it, it's just one bite of, like, a little bit of cheese and then, like, some mayo. It's fine. I just won't- there's no way you're gonna get me to eat all of the thing with that. Like, grilled cheese with mayo is one option. People put mayo instead of butter on the grilled cheese, and then they cook that up. That's a thing. I think that's fine. But... Matsumoto... from... downtown... some of you know what that is... uh, has said that he eats mayo on bread, and he said it's awesome. Now, it's not like I know everything about Matsumoto, but I do remember that. Then, uh, yes, we've had a similar conversation where chat told me that Japanese mayo is amazing. It's different, it's higher quality. Why of all things do you remember mayo? I don't- I don't know. I don't remember what I ate last week, I don't remember the game I streamed last week. But... I remember the mayo conversation we had... ...fucking years ago, perhaps. Jesus Christ. I just wanted to get the healing chat. I was right there, but I needed healing. Oh, it's dropping juice on me. A second here. Don't use Deadus Moan for Bombo. Oh, okay, there's no wonder it wasn't killing. What's happening in chat? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't kill, but it's close enough. He brings some condiments and everyone loses their minds. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Okay, now I need to get full health again. Vinny, it was there? Did I really miss it? Oh, God damn it. You spawned next to full health. Oh, fuck. And there was one up here, too. Okay. Alright, let's save. Chat is busy mayo posting right now. I don't really, um, I don't have another topic. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a Wayne. Behold the heart of the renewed Hylum Xylum, fueled by the terrestrial juices. We will forge an improved zone. Gibby. Emerge from that vessel. The Hylum Xylum was a failure. Only now does the accretion's long dark age begin to subside. You were not even a larva when that prior xylem formed. Had you witnessed it, you would not malign it so. I forgive you for destroying my satellite. From this world's matter, I'll produce a better one. Perhaps even allow you a space there. You'd mulch this entire zone? I just got the new ranch set up. So many artifacts remain hidden from us. You'd rob us the joy of uncovering them first? Spare me your trivialities. Pangor- Pangorma. Pangorma! You witnessed the empire of the sages. Only through my work here can such grandeur again be realized. Alas, I've become habituated to this shabby planet. Very well. There is no need for verbal debate. I've bathed in the terrestrial juice. Witness my omnipotence. Gibby! So I guess we're gonna get some... Some new music. Sorry, didn't mean to stop the music. It's good. Fuck. Sorry, chat. Okay. No, I had to all tab out for a second. Well, I'm not going to use the Bombo Genesis. Uh... Opinion on ranch? Oh, I like ranch. If we're talking about condiments and shit, sure. on pizza. Oh lord, nope, 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 nope. I don't get it. Okay, that was pretty good damage. 
But then it spawned another one. Oh, fuck. Uh, so I need... Do I have, like, multi-juice? Yeah, I've got multi-juice. This is another really good song, too. Fuck is that move? <laughs> this is a really cool song. for another bombo. That was amazing. more multi-juice, otherwise I would... Otherwise I would get that going. Germ is health and will. Oh, okay. Nice. And I haven't even seen this fucking thing before, so that's cool. Make sure we get another good bombo.
999, oh sorry, 999 bones, 999 meat. Rest in fucking peace, Gibby. Classic Hylex music sound. Guess it's time to do a show, huh? At Club Wayne. Oh, because Dodge is set to... Oh, fuck. I can't play entirely. Now I can. Sorry. Oh, it's Big Wayne. Wayne, you did as well as any of us could have hoped. Maybe someday you'll be old Wayne. I perceive now that I was irresistibly compelled by Lord Gibby's terrible power. Impossible. Hylum is Hylum annihilated, but I will gather my strength and a new force shall rise. Larthuvul, or perhaps Trelbazur. Freed from the Hylum Xylum's influence, the people will surely be restored to their natural forms. <laughs> Medicine names. Impossible. Hylum Xylum annihilated, but I will- oh. Bungle a tree, it said. Oh, that's a cool thing to say. Explains so much, yet so little.
I, I have, I have no words. Okay, I have some words. These enemies look really cool. One more word. To through. Okay, this is this was a great, great game. I enjoyed all ten or so hours of it. It's just a really I like it. I like RPGs that have a brisk pace like this. That was a really, really bizarre ending to a really bizarre game. And... I'm glad I played it. Chat was extremely... adamant that I played this game. And so I did. Not like I wouldn't have. Having played Hylix 1, there's no way you couldn't play Hylix 2. So yeah, it's great. I loved it. Uh, I, I'm really happy it came out as good as it did. It, I remember seeing the first preview of it. I was like, it's 3D? It delivered. Love the music, love the visuals, and whatever story I was able to make sense of, it was just good enough to propel the plot and weird enough to intrigue me. Also, the gameplay was your standard RPG fare with a couple extra little things going on, but uh, I'm gonna say, uh, you know, just kind of as a rating, I'm gonna give this a, 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 a Z, maybe an H, to a Z out of 10. Yeah, like something like that I'd give probably, yeah. No, it's excellent. Mason, thank you. Chuck, thank you. And thank you audience for watching this. Mason said thank you. Well, that's awesome. That's really great. That's really great to hear. Thank you. Okay, um, what do we do now? Is that it for tonight? No, that's not it for tonight. There will be another thing I can stream for a little bit. I'm going to stream for like another hour and a half. Um, I don't know what I want to play yet. It's either going to be... So I could do... No, 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 no. It's, it's going to be one of my regular games. AI Dungeon is a Sunday stream thing, but I might do Smush. Wait, do I want to do Smush? I'm not going to do Command and Conquer because that's two nights in a row and it's really close to being finished. So I'll tell you what, I was going to play Smash anyway, so I'm going to play Smash. That was my goal. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Smash Chat. I don't know why. Min Min, you know, renewed my interest in the game. I'm going to do a little bit of Smash. So stick around. Quick break. Uh, and then more video games. Thank you for everybody that had anything to do with weird things. Especially Hylix weird things. Speaking of... Here's an appropriate BRB, I believe. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> 